Hi everyone! I have another YouTube video, video for all of you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank those who have subscribed. Thank you! Um, and also um, those who have left some comments. I was asked uh, what does the area where I stitch look like? And uh, pretty much I stitch on this couch. Uh, I do have a uh, Systems 4 stand. And I'm going to use my laptop to kind of move it around so you can sort of see the stand. Um, it's this one right here. Um, this is my Systems 4. In the background you're going to see some uh, little figurines and things like that that I have um, in my room. But for the most part this is where I stitch. The stand uh, has a uh, clamp. It's pretty much universal but for the most part it works with these stretcher bars. Um, I have a magnifying glass with a light and I also have a small lamp for some of those areas that sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean I, I just stitch right here. Um, it's kind of quiet, which which is great for me. Um, I also have my threads, which um, I keep on a fairly long strand. Um, a lot of uh, people recommend that you cut them in half, like half this size, but uh, it drives me crazy to have to keep you know rethreading. So this length works very well for me. And what I do is I use these little clips. Um, and I set it up before I actually start working on any particular piece. And uh, I have, I identify what type of five, uh, what type of thread it is, which is basically in this case is vineyard silk, the color and lot number. The reason I do that is because if I ever run out of this particular color, I can go to my local needlepoint store and uh, get some more. Sometimes you can't find the same lot color. What that means is the, 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 um, tint might be just a hair off so you have to do a um, blending of what you have left over with the new uh, the new lot color that that you purchased um, if it's done properly uh, which it's taken me quite a while to figure that out it is a very very subtle change and it almost looks like a very very light shadow and almost meant to be that way um, I try to purchase as much as I can without going overboard uh, before I start on a particular canvas to make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, most of the pieces that I have I do stitch in uh, Basket Weaver Continental and in an uh, upcoming video I am going to show you those two stitches. Um, they're pretty much the bread and butter for needle pointing but also those are the two stitches that at least in my experience if you use them they will preserve the design. Uh, the, the 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 essence of that particular canvas uh, rather than some embellishments will cover some things and um, not necessarily bring out what the artist was had intended when they painted the canvas. Um, for me it, these canvases are artwork so I, uh, I purchase them because they mean something to me and also because they're beautiful to me and I want to preserve that beauty and actually enhance it with threads you know and, and color um, to bring out uh, what the artist has done. Um, so pretty much this is how I do it. Um, I just keep them like this. Some other types are like Splendor which uh, also have a nice shine to it. Um, they come in these little cards. Um, I pretty much just keep them here in the little loop and these just hang uh, right on the stand itself. And basically that's that's about it. I mean it's not uh, it's nothing fancy. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, I am looking forward to a Millennium stand. I, um, they are handmade so it does take time for them to produce enough. So I'm hoping you know sometime in the near future I'll be able to get one. But uh, as needlepoint stands go, this particular style, the System 4, fits me well. Um, I do have the pieces that go with it. Uh, for example, if you're using uh, uh, those clamps or if you you know use the bars, uh, I do have the adapters to use that, but mainly the uh, the ever tight frames are the ones that I use. I also wanted to share with everyone a piece that I finished not too long ago. It is of a macaw, and I uh, made it into a serving tray. Um, I saw the serving tray at a needle point store, and I thought, wow, you know, that's kind of cool. Uh, and this particular piece was the perfect size actually. I didn't purchase it for that but it worked out that way so that was kind of cool. So I'm going to try to show it to you. Uh, there it is. That's the macaw. There's a little bit of glare but it's mainly from the computer. Um, but this is my macaw and if you can see I have some embellishments here 
on the bottom that's underneath the the glass so the theme for this particular one um, is uh, Margaritaville and if you've ever seen a Margaritaville they do have these stuffed parrots everywhere and um, I have little pineapples with the umbrellas and things so I thought that was kind of cool so there's that one I also wanted to share with you um, what is called an Elizabeth Bradley and I talk a lot about Elizabeth Bradley because I think that they're awesome canvases these particular canvases are mo are not a mono com canvas mono canvases they weave so it's like one one uh, thread goes over the other one goes underneath with the Elizabeth Bradley they're actually interlocking so pretty much it's glued together it's it's a very very strong canvas and this particular stitch requires a canvas like that um, it's very strong and uh, made out of English wool that's the uh, the thread that uh, that they use exclusively it's English wool and uh, very beautiful designs this particular one was turned into a pillow Ta -da! And as you can see um, you know here's all the, the different colors different shades uh, I love lavender purple is my favorite color and uh, this was a gift uh, for my husband to me on my birthday and I stitched it and I had it turned into a pillow. I am not necessarily the greatest stitcher, at least as sewing is concerned. I, I know how to turn on a sewing machine and that's about it. Um, so I, I had someone do this for me and uh, they uh, finished the back in the two different colors, um, which are pretty much enhancements of the colors in the front. It's got a nice little robe on the side. But uh, this is a typical Elizabeth Bradley design. Uh, there are other designs that are about this size that you can attach to each other and basically make a carpet or a tapestry. Um, that's, you know, very elaborate. I mean, some of them have like uh, six, nine uh, different canvases that are interlocking. Um, and then they're finished to be a, a, a carpet, an area carpet. Um, there are some new designs from Elizabeth Bradley, if you're interested, uh, on their website for this spring. I'm looking uh, at purchasing one that's very colorful, has a lot of um, flowers and butterflies and things like that uh, as a pillow um, to use in the living room um, to kind of, you know, add some color to the room. Uh, but it's uh, the kits are great. They have everything that you need. Uh, the threads uh, are there. The yarn, the English, the English yarn. It'll have a uh, the canvas itself. It, it is painted, so you can follow it that way. Or they do have a printout of that actual design, and it shows you the colors and what boxes. Uh, the colors are tied to the color palette with all the threads. Um, you don't necessarily have to put it on a stretcher bar. These actually can be done um, freehand. I mean, you can just stitch them as you're watching TV or you know, driving down the road or something like that. It's it's uh, they're very very. Uh, easy to stitch and for the most part if anybody wanted to start learning how to do needlepoint I would definitely say get an Elizabeth Bradley if you can uh, there are dimensions uh, uh, kits that are needlepoint that you can also find at your local needlepoint store or your local hobby uh, hobby store uh, those are also really good uh, kits to buy uh, for the most part I've I think I started with some of those and then I graduated to Elizabeth Bradley and I started taking classes at my local needlepoint store and um, I'm I think I'm up to my third uh, advanced class um, as far as needlepoint is concerned and in future videos what I would like to do is share with you um, some of these stitches first I'm going to do the basket weave and continental which are the bread and butter for needlepoint and I'll go for other stitches that are a little bit more intricate not hugely intricate but just a little bit more intricate um, to kind of give you an idea of what these uh, embellishment uh, stitches are um, but other than that that's how pretty much it for this uh, for this video um, I'm also going to start sharing with you my stash and uh, <laughs> and also my storage system that I have for my threads once I'm done with a particular project if there's anything left over which normally there is um, I have a way of uh, storing the threads um, other than that um, if you have anything in particular you would like to see or any comment questions please by all means uh, leave me a, uh, a note and I will get to you as uh, quickly as I can so without any further ado I would like to say thank you very much for watching and happy stitching bye everybody